All right, I hope this is the first video for the Subaru Sandbar that is actually really gonna show how to set the timing with a timing light, not this other, hey, just listen to it with your ear. So, uh, I happen to have an old dwell meter because I'm old. Uh, so I'm gonna use this for tack. And you need to take a pin, some sort, I have a hobby, a T-pin stuck it in where the yellow wire is. See that? Stuck it right inside the socket. Next to the yellow wire. And that's going to be my pickup for my old tech for my tachometer. Uh, the other side of the tech just goes to ground. Right here ground. And on this old Akron, it's probably 30 years old, you double the Eight cylinder scale, so I'm at 800 RPMs right now. Then you take your timing light, which no one freaking has these anymore. Uh, clip the number one cylinder, pick up power wherever you can. I'm on my starter, and the actual timing mark is down here. Let's see. I can show you. Oh, it's going to be hard. So. Timing mark is on the alternator pulley, and there's a plastic tip sticking off of the timing cover. That is your your mark. And then when you shine your light, you will have. I have two little hash marks on the pulley on the uh, alternator pulley, and the top one is six degrees. So my camera isn't going to pick it up because I'm flashing while trying to film. But you're going to shine your light until the top mark is lined up with that plastic tip right there. That is where the timing mark is on these engines. I mean, yes, it's up here just to replace the belt. But to actually set the timing, you're using the alternator fully down there. I hope this freaking helps because it took me a while to figure this out. Adios.